Greetings, Shadow Creatures. Today we are reviewing Projection First Light, a game that comes to us from developer Shadow Play Studios and Sweaty Chair and publisher Blowfish Studios. I played this game on Steam. It is also going to be available on Xbox One, PS4, and Switch. The game will be available on September 29th, 2020 for $17.99 USD, though there is a free demo available as well. Projection First Light is a puzzle platforming adventure that features the character of Greta, though there is no story that's written or spoken in this, everything is told through shadow puppets. Harnessing the power of light and shadows, Greta travels all over the world through China, Turkey, Greece, 19th century England, and Indonesia. Essentially, you are controlling your character with the left stick and light with the right stick, and you use the light to create shadows to help you jump up onto platforms and navigate through the worlds. There are a few other mechanics, such as the ability to lift baskets and other such objects, but it all pretty much boils down to making a platform with light. I don't really want to start this review on a sour note, but I thought that this mechanic was really neat at first and then got old pretty fast. It would have been fine if this was just a feature of the game and there was other mechanics or puzzle solving thrown in, but it really all just boiled down to this and the problem was that it wasn't that well implemented in my very humble opinion. Oftentimes my character would get stuck in the shadows where I couldn't move or jump her at all. Even if she would have either fallen or been able to jump to the next platform, she just got stuck in mud and I couldn't do anything. Also in general, I just found the light kind of challenging to manipulate and it could just be me and my brain doesn't work super well with left and right stick controls like that but I just found myself getting frustrated over and over again and falling into the same traps over and over again and it really sucked the fun out of this game for me. But on to a more positive note, this game is gorgeous. I love the idea of shadow puppets. I thought the colors used in the background were really neat and helped distinguish the different areas that you were traveling through. I thought that it was neat how you could tell what was in the foreground or the background based on how dark the saturation was. I really bought into the overall vibe of this game. I thought it was so cool, which is why I was so kind of disappointed in the overall mechanic of the game not working the way I want it to. Soundtrack to projection was really nice as well, a lot of piano based tracks which I tend to enjoy, however the other sound effects like the sound that the light makes when it's in an area that can create a shadow I found got irritating very fast. When you're trying to create the perfect arc for Greta to jump on and you keep missing the mark and then the light keeps taunting you by making the same sound over and over again, it really grates on you. Overall, I would say presentation was great and probably the strongest point of this game, save the little bit of annoyance with the sound effects. Overall, I think this game is beautiful on the outside but not on the inside there is so much to appreciate in the art and the soundtrack and it just missed the mark with that core game mechanic if you're the type of person that is better with using both sticks at once and your brain works that way you might have a much easier time with this game than i did however i do think you'll be frustrated as well i could just be projecting though Thank you so much for watching our review of Projection First Light. If you'd like to see more reviews and previews like this one, hit the subscribe button below and give this video a like and also check out the description box where we have links to our memberships as well as merchandise store. Again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.